So, how many of you have seen this? Hello. I imagine some of you, certainly not all, and what would you say if I had five more mysterious pairs of eyes to show you? Okay, okay, I'll stop beating around the lamb ball and get to it. Hello, my fellow pal trainers. I hope you fare well this day. I want to talk a little bit about that which could have been, that which was lost. Cut content from Pal World. Some of it is still actually in the game files. We found it, we can access it, we can look at it, and it's a little bit scary what's there. A load of new pals, and indeed something else that if actually comes to the fore, well, would be ridiculous. And it's actually something you might have seen happen, because of course, if it's in the files, people have pulled it out of them into the game proper. In any case, before we get on to the cut content that is in the game still, technically, that might well answer a few of the mysteries hidden behind the roadmap and the exciting promises there within, with the raid bosses, with the literal new pals and so on, I want to start with the cut content that isn't in the game files, because there's a surprisingly large amount of it. Now, Pal World development hasn't been the most straightforward. A lot has gone on behind the scenes, not to mention, of course, its, you know, similarities with certain other games that I'm sure no one else has noticed at all in any way, shape, or form. But the big one is that, frankly, the earliest trailers for Pal World kind of don't represent at all what we ended up with. And a large part of that is due to both a huge staffing and then engine switch that occurred from uh, Unity uh, to Unreal. So if we look at a trailer that is two years old, which in the grand scheme of development time should still pretty accurately kinda represent to what we end up getting, there is a lot that we very much don't end up getting. So this was at TGS, and initially, this arena, right, in the background. Not to mention this little buddy in the foreground, who you might not recognize at all, and yeah, you won't, because he's not available in-game, but hold that thought. So this arena here, where the pals are fighting, this isn't a thing, really. But could this be the uh, PvP arena mode that is on the roadmap that is coming, that this is still there, this is still cooking? That's entirely possible. But even as we continue on, just the general vibe is just a little bit different. So here, for example, these towers with the thugs on that we then blow up and destroy, that's kind of also not a thing. You can definitively see things that were cut and a lot of that is, but why were they uh, cut? Because a lot of these features do look like they might actually have been really, really neat. You can see random interactions and buildings that we don't have, uh, but the most egregious things, like, I don't know, this giant sky whale, pal, all right, this looks like the god of the PAL universe, uh, the Arceus equivalent. Like, look at him, he is ginormous. He's awesome, I wonder if he's even capturable. That is one of our mysterious missing PALs that is clearly a PAL, but never made it. The only thing of note to say is that you do find large skeletons around the place that certainly could fit the stature of this creature, so maybe they quite literally extincted him, which might be quite the idea. And of course, he's flying towards... I mean, I imagine if we'd gotten this whole, like, scene. Like, that would have been so, so cool. In any case, a sled! Yeah! Vehicles, right? That has to be something that's still presumably in the works, still coming. You could easily see vehicles being built, pals assigned to them as another method of transportation. Granted, is that really superior to riding pals? And maybe that's why it was settled at that. But it's certainly neat and certainly like a big feature that took time to make that we have now had omitted. Your own pals riding in the back too. 
it's quite interesting to see, because although what we've gotten is a really fun, genuinely enjoyable experience, there's definitely that air of, huh? When you look back at what could have been and what's missing. And we see here uh, a friend from the arena, Dragostrophy, the Lord of the Darkness, was going to be, well, one of the Alpha Pal field bosses and is now nowhere to be found. Or perhaps not exactly nowhere. We will come back to him again. Keep him in mind. Very, very cool, though. I really like the look of him, and honestly, it's a crying shame that he's not here. And then you may recognize, or at least not recognize, another little pal there. And again, that's one to keep in mind because it's another casualty, but perhaps not one that has been lost forever. I don't want to labor the point too hard, but I do want to go over at least one more. And again, we see a Dragostrophy in the back of this little clash. This next one then is older than the previous, the previous about a year and a half, this the two year mark, and once more, we get what is, for the most part, a familiar setting, until it starts to immediately become not a familiar setting. You see him over there, this uh, kind of glorious looking uh, white dragony pal? Yeah, him? He's gone? Where's he? He's awesome! Like, I really wish that happened! He looks phenomenal! Like, that's such a cool uh, little concept. The, the wind turbines in the background as well, and just this whole kind of scene is not really one uh, that we've experienced ourselves. This lassoing Mr. Pawbar over here, Mr. Rushbar, on the back of a cart being pulled by pals in this kind of chase sequence. That's pretty amazing, and again, just like the sled, a vehicle that was cut, or vehicles as a mechanic in general that was cut, but being able to ride around and rope down pals, I mean, that would fit perfectly. Actually, having this road system to fast travel along without literally fast traveling, but again, I can understand why we ended up with fast travel points and mounts to get you between places, as riding your pals is inherently more enjoyable than riding a vehicle, but you could do some really good stuff vehicle-wise. Hell, they're, you know, been inspired by 73 other things. Let's get inspired by a 74th in a certain, you know, maybe Tears of the Kingdom vehicle system, or, you know, who, who, who knows? And then a rocket! How many of you have built your rocket yet and uh, escaped the planet, I suppose? Let's just throw Subnautica in here. This is another distinctly removed uh, feature, and I suppose it almost makes sense, because why would we have a rocket and a rocket-building platform? But at the same time, hell, I wouldn't have minded doing some uh, po pal rocketing at all. And everything else is kind of uh, something at least close enough to what we ended up with until this turn of events. I honestly kind of happy it never went this far because my God! And honestly, this is one of the first trailers that really kind of created the meme that Pal World was, where everyone was like, okay, Pokemon with guns, it's not real, or at least if it comes out, it's not going to be good, okay, ha ha, Pokemon with guns, dark, all right. But then it came out and it was actually a really enjoyable survival game. But yeah, I guess infiltrating a facility that's capturing pals and from the looks of it, harvesting them may have been just a tad over the line. And then once again, a Dragastrophy is back in this perhaps arena. So, with that kind of context and little look at a few of the things that could have been a lot of what was cut, I do want to go on to what is technically still here, but we can't access it, because I think it's both really awesome, a little bit funny, and also really quite dark, as is essentially everything in Power World. In fact, I think I just described the entire game in those sentences. So, to begin with then, let's ignore the giant whale and the uh, really neat white noodle dragon looking thing, and talk about the other three pals that are in the game. They are accessible. With a little bit of tweaking, you can plop them out in front of you and uh, make them do their things, but aren't, you know, actually in-game in any kind of normal, expected, or legit manner, but are most certainly, again to stress, in the files, fully made, fully modeled, animated, done and done, ready to go, and presumably either they got cut for, I don't know, the reason, in one case maybe 
too much similar to certain other creatures, we'll get to that, but in general, maybe they are being held back to be raid bosses? In any case, we will start with the one that got the most uh, spotlight in those little lookbacks, Dragostrophy, a dark dragon that supposedly just would have had Transporting 3, which is interesting, and while I think uh, Edgy uh, Zoroark is very much awesome, uh, and I could see myself having one in the team, I don't think it's like insane that he needed to be expunged from uh, the uh, normal default version of the game. It is quite curious. I think he's a very fun pal, certainly seems like he would have been legendary, and maybe even above that, if he was going to be a raid boss, maybe he will again get added as one and be capturable. We saw him be fought as a boss, so maybe that, along with the area that he's in as part of new islands or new zones, is going to be a kind of a package deal. In any case, with him, we do know a little bit more about him. And of course, you know, we can have a look at him as people I want to do when something is in the files. It's not that hard to actually get a little bit of an acquire going on. In any case, the Paldek entry is thus. A silent beast born of the abyss. Thou shall not stand before the beast. Thou shall not heed the beast. He is uh, the Black-Winged Shooter, that's the name of his partner skill, so presumably something to do with riding him. We do see him get ridden in older trailers, and he really kind of has the air about him of would have been a big, important deal. Next up, then, we have <laughs> Unreleased Dark Mutant, also known as Mewtwo. <laughs> This one is a little bit on the nose. Handiwork 3, Medicine 3, at Transporting 2, and perhaps this one, this pure dark one, was, yeah, cut because it would have been inarguably too similar, but I don't think it's so similar. Like, it obviously is. Like, I'm, I'm not about to defend it, although I don't think it needs defending, but you know what I'm saying. In any case, I don't think it's more similar to uh, Mewtwo's form than it is other pals similar to, clearly, what they are similar to, but in any case, I do still think... I think it's very cool, and I still do think it's kind of a shame uh, that it's not in-game. You know, if you're gonna be inspired this much, you know, don't stop. Just keep being inspired. Don't hold anything back. This one is certainly a lot more mysterious, and one that we don't even have the PAL deck entry for. The only real thing to go on is that Lunaris is referred to as Mutant, and then this is Dark Mutant, so maybe it was a version of Lunaris. But again, the best we can do is uh, just uh, summon it out and have a little peek, and that's about it. He is certainly very cool, and again, one that I do kind of hope does actually get added as I do for our final of this little trio that are in the game files and not catchable anywhere in the open world normally, Bolt Main. Yeah, this one is just Luxray. We all know that. We can all see it. But at the same time, I do think he actually looks really badass and I quite like him. I think this one may be the level of they cut this because it's inarguably too close. It's probably the closest out of all of them in the game. Though two kindling is a bit weird for a pure electric like this, and I'm a little bit sort of, huh, at that? But in any case, yeah, he was in the trailer as we saw, and is again a fully made, done, complete pal that we simply just don't have access to. It's pal deck entry then is the more it moves, the more it heats up, and the hair tips increasingly glow brighter. At its peak, it becomes so dazzling that you risk blindness if you stare at it directly. So again, that does inspire flame and fieriness, but it is an electric pal. It drops flame organs, it has kindling. It's a real kind of interesting one. It's like it's set up as a fire pal, but is just for some reason electric. In any case, actually in game, we get more of an answer to that question, and yeah, it is very clearly supposed to be a fire pal, despite again being called Bolt Main and being an electric one. It kind of should be the duo of the both, because a fire electric that is a sort of fiery, flaming, uh, shocking main lion, yeah, that would have been really neat, and I could have totally gone for that. And again, I do think it's a little bit of a shame that it really didn't happen. 
In any case, yeah, that is the trio of new pals that exist that we just don't have consistently that I hope are just being held back for an update, but then that would be a little bit strange. It's just those three in particular, they've been in trailers. I do wonder what actually went on there. But as we continue our journey through uh, cut content, let's get to the dark one. There is a pal sphere, a type of pal sphere related to presumably the upcoming PvP and arena updates on the roadmap uh, that might cause a little bit of a stir, and if you already know what I'm talking about, likely already has caused a bit of a stir. And that is the Radar Sphere. This is in the game, you can get it into the game, you can use it, and what this lets you do with a fairly low capture rate is let you capture other people's pals. Yeah, it just straight up lets you capture other trainers' pals, which on a multiplayer server with people being attached to other pals is obviously going to cause a little bit of, let's say, strenuous relationships between everyone there. I'm kind of glad that this ultimately isn't a thing, but I presume the reason it isn't a thing yet is because PvP isn't a thing yet. So watch this space, but do be a little bit concerned if uh, that uh, goddamn PvP update does include the radar sphere. I mean, it's a cool looking sphere, but at the same time, I uh, do wonder how it will actually affect the game. I cannot imagine a world in which it's positive. So in any case, I just kind of wanted to have a little chat on, A, how much that we saw didn't actually make it into the game, yet despite all that, it's still a really genuinely addicting, entertaining, and fun experience. B, some new pals that we don't have, and some new pals that we kind of do have, but, you know, don't have, if that makes sense, and a little bit of Radar Sphere. I would love your thoughts on everything I've talked about here, of course, and until next time, like if you've enjoyed this, subscribe and hit the bell for more, and consider supporting the future of this channel on Patreon down below. Entertainment twice to reiterate that it is nice to look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage is uh goodbye.